Yo, what is up YouTube? Today I am showing you guys how to make the best two-way inside the arc score on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Real quick, if you guys are new, if you could drop a like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. It is free, it helps me out a ton. Let's get into this build. So we're gonna go small forward, height six foot seven, and the wingspan. Some builds, you know, it makes sense to have a smaller wingspan, but for this build, it makes all the sense in the world to go ahead and max that out. Wingspan helps you with stuff like rebounding, defense, all that good stuff. We want all of that. Now, this build, if I had to describe it, it's kind of like a hybrid lock build. You're going to be able to play great defense. You can do a lot of stuff with this build, but you'll also be able to take, advantages, take, blah, take advantage of mismatches in the paint. And you guys will see what I'm talking about when we are finished making it. Now, first things first, I want to go speed with ball, and I want to get three playmaking badges. When someone gives me the ball, even though this build isn't a dribble god build, even though it's not really a playmaker build, it's more of an off-ball kind of build, I still want to be able to have quick first step gold so I can burst to the paint for a dunk, for a layup, you know, move around if they're sagging off, stuff like that. You see with the finishing, I'm going to upgrade my driving dunk. I'm going to put my close shot driving lift to a 70 and 80, just to have the best of both worlds with those two, and then I'm going to have standing dunk and post control high. Now with the shooting badges, 90 midi, the three point has to be an 82 or below to get the name, that is why I did not go any higher. And then you see with the defense, I'm going block, rebounding, of course, perimeter defense. And as you can see with the badges we are going to have, it's going to be 16, 10, 23, and 3. Like I said, this build is a very unique build. It's for people that want to have some dominance in the paint. You see the post control is an 81. So if you guys didn't know, the strength rating is what you know, it has to do with post control. It stops drop steps, it stops post spins, it helps people stop getting back down in the paint. And everybody is going, you know, 25 on the interior defense because interior defense takes up a ton of badges. And you can actually play good interior defense without it, except against players that are going to back you down and destroy you in the post, hit you with drop steps, standing dunks. And that is what we are making this build to do. Now with the takeovers, slashing, sharp, lock, and glass, can't really go wrong with any of them. I would say though, you know, this is like kind of like a, a slashing lock kind of build. So I would definitely go with finishing moves and maybe a lock takeover. But if you think you're going to be playing big with this build a lot, you can go glass cleaning takeover, especially if you're playing something like Wreck. If you want to have, you know, spot up builds, I mean, you can shoot fine with this build, honestly, a 90 minute 82 3. But if you just want to have that much more assurance, you can put up spot up takeover or limitless, as you can see, two way inside the arc score. Andrew Wiggins, ooh, Gordon Hayward. And George Gervin for the comparisons but if I was to make this build this is exactly what I would do I would mainly play as a lock and I would spot up I would go in for my contact dunks like you know other people are doing but if I ever you know I'm playing twos if I have a guard you know maybe like a six foot it doesn't even matter if I have a six foot seven power forward I'm, auto I'm automatically assuming they don't have interior defense I'm gonna go in the post I'm gonna drop step them and I will be able to tell right away if they have a no interior defense if they are one of those people and everyone is making this build if they made a build with no strength and no interior defense and I hit them with a drop step you know 81 post control I'm gonna have drop step gold hall of fame whatever and they get knocked out of the way and I get a standing dunk automatically I know I'm gonna be able to dominate them in the paint same thing if you go against you know anybody that's tall there's not a lot of guards in this game but if you're ever going up against a guard you can dominate against them you know rec center maybe maybe my team needs a quick bucket they can just dump it to me it's just a very you know something you're not going to see a lot of people do some people they either shoot the three they shoot the midi or they drive for the dunk this build can do you know shoot the three shoot the midi drive for the dunk drive for the close shot you know hit them with a post spin hit them with a post spade you really have a you know basically an arsenal of offensive weapons with this build if that makes any sense you see 16 finishing badges it's almost not enough i mean slithery post riser i want those back down punisher drop stepper you could put on post spin if that's your kind of style however you want to go now with the 10 shooting badges as long as you got hot zone hunter hall of fame and hot shot and uh hot spots you're gonna hit all your shots but you have the extras you have deep threes you can put on fade ace difficult shots catch and shoot if you think you're gonna be spotting up more green machines nice hot shot if you want to get your takeover quicker dead eye blinders all these are really great badges it's really up to you and how you play with what other shooting badge you want playmaking you just want that go quick first step like i said i could have ignored my playmaking completely a lot of people will do that a lot of people will say that is the smart decision for me for somebody that plays the game i do not want to have a build that has no playmaking i do not want to be useless when i catch the ball i don't need to have you know 90 ball handle 90 pass accuracy all that stuff but i want to be able to move quick when i get the ball that's why i always upgrade speed with ball and try to get that quick first step goal with the defense 23 you get a lot 
Clamps Hall of Fame, Chase Down Rim Protector, Rebound Chaser. I usually choose pretty much the same uh, defensive badges because, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I want to play good perimeter defense. I want to play good paint defense. I want to get blocks. I want to get rebounds. I want to get extra jumps. And these badges, they do it all. I mean, stuff like, you know, Heart Crusher, that would be cool. Brick Wall if I'm running screens, which I probably wouldn't with this build, but you definitely can. You know, there's a lot of cool badges, but you only have 23. You usually got to choose the best ones. Let me know what you guys think of the build, man. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.